Okay, class, picking up where we left off at. There was one little error in what we did here in A, but it's an easy fix. You don't have to rewrite everything. Okay, this 10x is supposed to be taken to the third power. And then this 70 is supposed to have an x squared to it. So all you have to do is just write this in in your notes. And then we could just write it every place that this appears. Now, when we factored out this 5, this, um, well, no, when we factored out the 10 here, this would be 10x squared that we factor out. And this will leave us x minus 7. Now, remember, this is cubed, and this has x squared to it. See, it was very minor changes. Now, we go through here, where we, got our, our, uh, where we left off at. We can simplify the x minus 7s. We can simplify our 5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 10 twice. Now we have 4. 4 goes into 4 once, and we still have our negative sign. And 4 goes into 8 twice. So what we would end up with is we would have, actually, we should have, there was a little error here. For some reason, this plus sign disappeared. So these x plus 2 should have simplified out as well. So we would end up with 4x squared all over negative 1, which we know is a negative 4x squared. Okay, now that took care of that problem. Now we come to B here. We have g over f, which we have here, and we want all of our x values to be 3. So instead of going through all of this process, we already found out what g of f is which is a negative 4x squared. So what we would do is we would take our negative 4x squared and we would substitute in 3. So it would be negative 4, 3 for x squared. So that would be our g of f of 3 is equal to this here. So this would end up being negative 4 times 9, which is a negative 36, and that's it. Now we move here to A3. It says A3, adding and subtracting rational expressions. How to add and subtract numerical fractions. First of all, you must have the same denominator. So when you add them together, you carry over your denominator. 5 plus 1 is 6. And of course, if we can simplify, we're supposed to simplify. Both of these have 2 in common, and that will leave us 3 fourths. Now, we go on to the next problem. Now, subtraction, you still must have the same denominator, which we do. So it'll be x plus 3. Now, we will write 3x plus 8. Now, because there's a minus sign in front of this uh, other expression here, we'll write minus x and then minus 2. It changes the sign of both of these. So 3x minus x is 2x. 8 minus 2 is a positive 6 all over x plus 3. Now we can factor out a 2 here, and we will have x plus 3 all over x plus 3. Now these x plus 3's will simplify out, and that will leave us 2 over 1, which is just 2. So our final answer here is 2. Now we scroll down here to the next, the next problem. Now we look here, we have to have a common denominator. The common denominator of 6 and 4 is 12. Now we know we have to multiply the numerator and denominator here by 2, and that would give us 10 over 12. We'll multiply this numerator and denominator by 3, and that would give us 9 over 12. 10 minus 9 is 1, and it's all over 12. Now we come here. We have to find a common denominator. First, let's look at the numbers. 5 and 3. We know their common denominator is 15. Now we look here. We have x cubed and x. The common denominator of x cubed and x is x cubed. And then finally, y and y squared. The common denominator of y and y squared is y squared. So first, let's go through this here. To make this denominator 15, we know we'll multiply the numerator and denominator by 3. Now we said x cubed Matter of fact, let me write our LCD here. So we said it's 15x cubed y squared. 
So we know three times five would give us a 15. We already have our x cubed, but to get our y squared, we have to do 3y in the numerator and the denominator. So that would give us 6y all over 15x cubed y squared. Now plus, to make 3 to go to 15, we know we'll multiply by 5. We need to go from x to x cubed, so we'll multiply the numerator and denominator by x squared, and y is already squared. So we know our denominator would be 15x cubed y squared, and our numerator would be 20x squared. Now we multiply these values, and we would end up with, well actually we would combine these values, not multiply. So we have 6y plus 20x squared all over 15x cubed y squared. Now we can leave our answer like this because we cannot simplify, but we can take it a step further by factoring out a two, and we add three y plus ten x squared all over fifteen x cubed y squared. Now that could be our answer. So it's either of these here. Either one of these could be our answers. So it could be this value or this value. Now we scroll on to the next page. It says how to multiply and divide algebraic fractions. Determine the LCD. Multiply each fraction by an appropriate form of one to create the LCD. Remember your goal is to introduce missing factors, add or subtract the numerators, and reduce if possible. Now now, actually, this is a mistake. This should be how to add or subtract. So you need to put add or subtract. This is add or subtract. Yeah, you see it's jumping, but you know I'm putting add or subtract algebraic fractions. Okay, now, we need to find a common denominator of x plus 4 and x minus 1. We know x plus 4 and x minus 1, their LCD would just be x plus 4 times x minus 1. Okay, so now we will multiply this numerator and denominator by x minus 1. And we will multiply this numerator and denominator by x plus 4. So now we will have 5x minus 5 and then we'll have plus 2x plus 8 all over x minus 1 and x plus 4. Now 5x plus 2x is 7x. Negative 5 plus 8 is a positive 3. And it's all over x minus 1, x plus 4. And we're done. Now we go here to b. Now b, we're multiplying. Now we did this back in 8, 2. So what we need to do is factor, but we know 4 times 1 is just 4. All over. We can factor out an x here, and we'll be left with x minus 2. And then x squared minus 5x plus 6 is actually it's supposed to be x minus 3 and x minus 2. Now, if you notice here, we cannot simplify anything out. So it'll just be 4 all over x times x minus 2, x minus 3. And we can actually make this x minus 2 squared. So we don't have to write the x minus 2 twice. So this here is your final answer. Now, we come down here to C. We have addition. Now, again, we must find a common denominator. No, class, I took the liberty of filling out uh, C and D, so I'm going to go through and explain. Forget about the LCD part for a second. Okay, now, we need to factor these denominators. 3x squared minus x minus 4 give us 3x minus 4 and x plus 1. And our numerator stays the same. Our denominator here becomes 3x minus 4 and 2x plus 3, which is done by factoring. 
Now we look at our denominators. We notice both of them have a 3x minus 4 in common. So we know that that is going to be part of our LCD. Now we notice one of them has an x plus 1. So this would be x plus 1. And another one has a 2x plus 3. So this would be 2x plus 3. So our LCD, actually this is supposed to be plus 3. Our LCD would be 3x minus 4 times x plus 1 times 2x plus 3. Okay, so now we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by 2x plus 3 to this first equation because, I mean this first uh, term because it lacks the 2x plus 3. Now the second term, this lacks the x plus 1. So we'll multiply that numerator and denominator by x plus 1. Now, when we multiply everything out, we will add 2x plus 3 times x minus 3. We'll multiply these two using a FOIL or distributive property, and that will give you 2x squared minus 3x minus 9. And then here, we will add 2x times x is 2x, well, 2x plus 5 times x plus 1 will leave us 2x squared plus 7x plus 5. And since it's addition, we'll just add them together. Now our denominators will still just be 2x plus 3, 3x minus 4, and x plus 1. Now, now we would combine these like terms. 2x squared and 2x squared is 4x squared. Negative 3x plus 7x is a positive 4x. And then negative 9 plus 5 will give us a minus 4. Now the only thing we could do here is factor out a 4 and we will be left in our numerator with x squared plus x minus 1 and our denominator it would be our LCD which is 2x plus 3, 3x minus 4 and x plus 1 and that is the final answer for that problem. Now we come here to D. We do the same exact process as we did with C. We factor out our denominators. We came out to be x minus 1, x minus 1. And then we can factor out a 3 here and we're left with x squared minus 1. Now remember, x squared minus 1 is the difference of two squares. So we have to factor that even further, which gives us this x plus 1 and x minus 1. Now our LCD, now we have a 3. We have one set of x minus 1's that match up, so we'll write 1x minus 1. We have another x minus 1, which we will write here, and we have an x plus 1. Now, with this first term here, we're missing the 3 times x plus 1. So we'll multiply our numerator and denominator by 3 times the parentheses x plus 1. And our second term here, we're just missing an x minus 1. So we'll multiply our numerator and denominator by x minus 1. Now we will multiply this. We know 3 times the parentheses of x plus 1 is the same as 3x plus 3. And we'll multiply that by x minus 2. And that will give us 3x squared minus 3x minus 6. Now over here, we would take negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. Now again, when you multiply these values here, you would make this 3x plus 3 and multiply by the x minus 2. Now we have all of our terms here. We will combine like terms. We will have 3x squared, negative 3x minus 4x is a negative 7x, and negative 6 plus 4 is a negative 2. Now our denominator would be our LCD, which is 3 times x plus 1, x minus 1, x minus 1. And that will be the final answer for that problem. Okay, class, we come to example two. And they give us in the directions to find a simplified equation for each function. So we had f divided by g. So we would take what f of x is equal to divided by what g of x is equal to. Now we know we would keep this first fraction the same. Division will become multiplication. And we would take the reciprocal of the second fraction. Now... The x minus 6's will simplify out, and you will be left with x minus 2 times x plus 3 
all over x plus 4 times 3x plus 1, and you're done.